Hermitcraft Season 8. Hello! I've got a new shirt. This is the fourth time I start a season of Hermitcraft and as such I wanted to do something a little bit different. I have been a big fan of watching all of these 100 days in Minecraft videos to the point where I've got completely obsessed with seeing how people play their first 100 days in Minecraft. So I thought it would be a good idea to do my first 100 days on the Hermitcraft server. Because let's be honest, the first 100 days on the Hermitcraft server will probably be completely different from most 100 days in a single player world. Day one. Well, most of you know day one. Circle, jumping, shifting, doing the hand shuffle, and most importantly, breaking audio software. <laughs> this is it. This is the start. This is it. 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 Season eight. This is it. Again, this is me doing it. All right, sweet. All right. Well, yeah, you, so you guys, I clearly, obviously, very obviously, been put up to this. Um, uh, and because everyone thought it would be much funnier to have me bumble through it without really knowing what I'm talking about, and that is definitely going to be the case. We do have. Two new hermits down in in this crevice oh, down here, no. Gemini Tay and Pearlescent Hello. Moon. Hello. 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 That's not deafening at all. Oh goodness me! How's right. it going? So is this where we all run off now? Oh yeah, we all run off. Oh, okay. Cool. See, told you, but very exciting to have two brand new hermits this season, Gem and Pearl. They seem absolutely awesome and I'm excited to get to know them better. Anyway, back to day one. I very quickly found myself alone with this man and while everyone else ran off to the forest, I decided to invite him to a slightly different plan, the desert. Oh, check this out though. What you got? Sand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Better. Oh, that was a good oh, one. Oh, Holy oh. smokes. Bet they're not doing that over in their forest. While falling sand is awesome, we didn't really find much else of use for a day one adventure in the desert. So we decided to take a quick exit on a little island to start punching trees. We made our first tools before deciding we're heading back into the desert in the hopes of a village or a temple or anything. Oh, there's a village. There is a village awesome. there. Just in time, I just ran out of food. Wait, this is the village we started in, Ethan. <laughs> this is the village we started in. And that was the end of day one. We had achieved nothing, except for a very starving Etho, which he asked me to take care of. We, we, are brother, we are brothers now. Dude, what is going on over there? <laughs> There's a really cow fighting. man? That's absurd. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Dude. Dude. I'll be on my no! Oh yeah, it's, do it's it. the battle. I don't do it. No! No! It's full on no! battle. It's battle area, man. Look out, look out. Oh, oh there's food! Good luck. Get food! <laughs> oh, you just, yes! Just steal it from the new person. Steal <laughs> it from the new people who are doing the work! I think we can take them out. take them out. Your skin works really I'm well. Thinking, do with we take some Cleo out? She's been oh, killing people. I think so. Go on then, if you feel like you must. No, I'll that. that, that <laughs> I'll flank! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh my, my brother! Don't kill the McLeo! Two verse one. No, don't let her get me. She's gonna get me. She's yes. dead. She's dead. <laughs> Here's oh, I, wow. <laughs> I don't have any health. There's a lot of. I just don't have. Here now, give though. me some. Give me some heads, no. and I'm out of here. See ya, guys. <laughs> Jevin oh, I got bread. I got bread. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Dude, I got P Dub's head. This is great. Nice. Oh, and a bed. I'm taking the bed. We're out. We're out. <laughs> what? What? It was a battle zone, okay? Anyway, we continue to search for something, anything, and then. Oh, this could be our village, Iskia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our very own. Oh no! I hear people here. I hear people. <gasps> okay. Whoa, whoa. Uh, hi. Oh. We're totally not pillaging the village. It's fine. Hello. We come oh, in I peace. Don't, I don't oh. like this. Yeah, we come in peace. Yeah. We're just gonna. Just gonna. Hello? We're just walking by. It's Hello. Hey. Watch out. Hello. How, how's it going? Everything good? Oh, Yell, I need you, a furnace. Have you uh, murdered each other? I, I don't have a furnace. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make one. <laughs> it's Yell, I need why a have, furnace. Why have you got Efo's head? What is going on? <gasps> False. Oh, I got well, the jackpot, Efo. I think you get each other's heads. Did you? Yeah. Food. Got the food. Yeah. Yeah. We got lots like of food. Oh yeah. Right I need food. No, yeah? no, no, no. Can they hear us? Oh, sweet. 
Yeah. We can, we're just ignoring you. Pretend that we can't hear them. <laughs> pretend like we can't hear uh, them. Oh, no, did you hear something? I, I, I don't know, either. did you hear something? I don't know. I don't know. Wow. Oh, let's just, let's just, let's, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is, this is, this is not a temple, but it can certainly become. What? Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Me too. Dude. And it has an install. Oh, wow. There's an elevator here already. <laughs> Come, my brother. That's a scent. No, this is. Lion King. This is gorgeous. <laughs> Lion King. <laughs> I can show you the world. We are in a savanna, you know. Dude, I think I'm going to live here. That That's what I was going to say. I think I'm going to live here. No, I'm, I'm going to live here. But I, I think also I think I'm gonna live here now. Uh, but yeah, but you know, you know, first, first, okay, first the callsies. For, first um, to the top, first to the top, I suppose. Oh no, 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 that was oh, that is a rule though. <laughs> oh no, you blocked it, so I'm gonna make it. What are we calling the top? Where I'm standing, right here. Ah, oh, darn it! <laughs> <laughs> I think there's an acacia there. tree that is a little bit higher. But dude, this is huge. We could both live here. We have the biggest. <laughs> Etho! No! <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> wow, that is a long ways up. In fact, it's so far up that it takes half a day to climb it up and down without any elevators or elytras. So, fast forwarding to day 9, because it turns out that it's extremely fun to spend some time punching each other down and then running back up and racing up to the top of this, of this insane shattered savanna. Anyway, fast forwarding back to day 9, we decided to let the other hermits know that we were gonna settle down in this amazing place. If you find big savanna, Hills. We oh, live I there like the now. Caps. I like the all caps. We be me. <laughs> <laughs> we spent the next few days at sea doing both things. There she goes with the drunken sailor. sailor her, 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 drunken sailor. You know what's funny is that I find myself in a boat singing in the episode one of every single season of Harry Craft. <laughs> it is really weird. Well, there's, there's not much else to do when you're on the water, right? Can't do the torch trick. There we go. Oh, Ooh, yoink. it's no right way. here, right here. There's no way there's a ship here. Yeah, I'm inside it. Okay, so we gotta go south for this treasure. Oh, oh, without chunk. Wow. For the thing without the it. Shipwreck. Where? 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 Right ahead of us. It's not down here, is it? Oh no, it actually is. <laughs> you think I'd throw <laughs> you in the water like that? I think you would. <laughs> that would be funny, actually. Etho, hello. Etho. Yeah. Oh, can you hear me? I can. Yeah, I'm having a little trouble on this one. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at this. Trust me. It feels like it's supposed to be like out in the ocean here, which is a bit weird. It. it oh wow. Oh, nice. That was a sneaky one. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, diamonds. Our main point with our treasure hunt was to find moss block, and at this time we had opened about 25 different shipwrecks with no luck. But then... Another oh, treasure oh, map? Oh, 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 Etho? No, oh, really? 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 Yep. We got him. Actually? We got him. You're not, you're not trolling. You got it. Let's see it. I'll show you, I'll show you later. You know when you want to find something so bad, and you've been searching for a while, and then you tell your friends that you got it? You find it, yeah. So that they will like you a bit more? Yeah, and believe you, and like get all excited and happy. So let's see the last block. We have been here. <laughs> oh, darn. Yes, we have. Okay. Look. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Uh -huh. Oh, you placed it? Yeah. We can mine it, right? Oh, okay. I didn't actually know. <laughs> <laughs> there was about to be one less pirate. Ah, ah, ah! Most block. It's probably the best block in one seventeen, in my opinion. Anyway, by the time we were done with our treasure hunt, it had become day twenty-one, and we still hadn't been caving 
or mining or doing any of the normal stuff. So we decided to stay on the path of no mining and instead we went exploring around our continent. Oh yeah, I, I should have mentioned <laughs> this this season of Fermicraft, we all live on one big continent together. In our travels we picked up some spruce wood, I found some red berries and I tried to tame a fox. It didn't go very it didn't go very well. H A H S S Rendock, yeah, that's them. Holy smokes! Oh wow! What? what on earth, man? They are not messing around. If I know Doc, and I think I know Doc, he's uh, he's digging tunnels right now. Wait, we gotta we gotta sneak up on him. Shift. He can hear us though. He, though. He can hear us? I don't think he can. No, he's in a group. He's in a group. Oh my, this is good. Let's just dig straight in here. Oh, wow. He doesn't know we're here. He doesn't know. He'll never find us. <laughs> he's running. <laughs> <laughs> Your retreat has been blocked. Aha. <laughs> Aha, we're running out of space mm -hmm. here, Doc. It's getting what closer. Do you get us one, man? It's getting, getting closer. Yeah. What, what, what is up? We need hey. some. We need food. We're hungry. We have searched all over the lands for you. You're the last person online. One fish. That must be my last food. I got nothing, man. You got more than that. Come on. Yeah. You got more food than that. Come on. Yeah, are you trying to bully me? No, no we're asking nicely oh. right yeah. now. But it'll get worse if you. Back off. <laughs> Oh, oh, what is this? What is this in this chest? Aye, 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 aye. Oof. Put it Ow! <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. This proximity mod is really a pain in the butt already. Gem! Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. She's probably also down caving. Oh, no, she's back! Ito! What? Who? Who? Oh! What? How? Hello? Hello? Hello. Welcome this to is, the server. Glad to have you around. This is my base in the wonderful birch forest. Can't be beaten. That's I'm right. not. I'm not much of a builder, but can I come with an improvement? Sure. Nice. Oh. oh. Ah. The rare. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Just kill the whole tree while you do it. It's cool. Ah. The rare yellow stem. Iska, it's going to be a lot of work if you're going to do that to the entire forest. Oh, I'm, uh, no, I'm not. No. No. Okay. This is a just, rare just tree. tree. There's just one, one of these trees. One rare tree. Okay. I got it. I got No, I'll take I'll take your advice. Jim, I got a question for you. This is like... This is a question I probably shouldn't ask, but it's like on my mind right now. Sure. Um Do you have like an ego or is this like a motivational I... <laughs> thing? Or No, see, my problem is, as I was setting up, I happened to run into Corallis and B-dubs and Tango, and I was ambushed for a diamond. In, in uh, return, okay. they, they gave me a sign. Oh, okay. I that's feel fine, like right. I was scammed is what happened, but yeah. it's fine. Oh, we're adding to it. Oh, oh snap. It's kind of great. <laughs> so here's the thing. <laughs> I was minding there my own business. Go. I was around this area. Right. And I got ambushed by uh, B dubs and Corallis and, um, right. and yeah. some other people. And I think I got scammed off of a diamond and then they <laughs> dropped this sign. <laughs> no. It was very <laughs> weird. It's so weird. It's Definitely so not an ego thing going really on. Really odd nope. how that happens. Yeah. Yep. Uh, no. Welcome, Jem. I have one. Uh, one ace. I will give you this advice for free. Okay. Check this out. Ah? <laughs> uh? Ah? Uh? No, uh? no, no. That one's not it. That's Orancio. Not it. This is a rare Orancio. Orancio. Orancio trees are pretty rare. I love birch forest. Do you not like my birch forest? I love it. Yeah. This Iskiel. is the best biome in the game, Isco. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I heard Iskiel talking mm -hmm. earlier that, like, of all the, mm -hmm. the biomes in the game, there was one that he hated, like, more than anything. Oh, really? What was that one? Hmm? Taiga. 
I don't like Taiga. Taiga. <laughs> That's true. That's a good one. I don't That's like good. Taiga. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also don't like but, Direct which Fields. Which one do you hate more than everyone, though? Direct Fields. It's a bad one. Oh, yeah. That's a bad one, too. Mm -hmm. How many attempts do I get? As many as you need. Oh, then. Until Oof. you give up. Because <laughs> I think it was luck. I don't think you can do it every... <laughs> <laughs> he, he's very graceful. Just, just he's... give him a moment. Oh, this is a flex. Oh, Look at oh. that. <gasps> wow, this oh guy. Oh my goodness. It's <laughs> actually insane. Okay, that you're pretty really good. That was really impressive. Right away. One down. One down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh she got one. First one. She got yeah. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Pretend that one didn't happen. The successes are cool. <laughs> the fails are just like, oh my goodness. Oh. Ooh. And what did you jump that was a on? That really good start. What did he jump what? on, or was it lag for me? Because he didn't jump on the first one. He just double jumped. It looked like. No, it looked like he jumped on the. Or first is this one. so smooth, this gel? You couldn't. You couldn't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that yeah. one was. Oof, next level. Ooh. Oh dear. Well, at this point, we were thirty days in, and. Not a single caving session, so I decided it was time for me to go into the deep dark. Oh no, that that's that's next version. Uh, into the caves to get some resources. That was a small montage of my first 16 days in the caves. On day 44, this happened. I lost everything. But, even though I lost everything on day 44, as day 56 comes to an end, I'm looking pretty good on resources once again, and I think, I think it's time to head home. My stomach, my stomach is hurting from the dried kelp, and I am tired of the caves. Seriously, when did they become so hard? Yay, day 57. Hello home. It's magnificent. Luckily, it no longer takes half a day to climb to climb this magnificent savanna because me and Etho actually, like 30 days ago, went to the nether and built a water vader. Now, all of that brings us to now day 58. So, we're over halfway there to 100 points and luckily, since me and Etho has decided to live together and share together while I've been caving, Ethos has been a busy man. We have a massive amount of cows and it looks like he's set up some farms and I can't wait to come back down. And I would really like to not lose my 23 levels. Here we go. Nailed it. I am really excited to live in a shattered savanna. It's one of my favorite biomes and it's a biome that I've never ever based in before. And there is so much potential. I can see bridges going across. I can see cliffside houses poking out. I can see an omega tree and no, <clears throat> no, no, we're not going to go there. Not going to go there. <laughs> oh yeah, G Gem also visited our base. <laughs> Now, one of my goals this season is going to be to be a lot more organized than I was last season. And as such, I think my very first, my very first thing I want to build is going to be a, a starter, starter storage house. And for that, I'm going to need a lot of wood because we have, we have these planks and that is it. Come on, one more. There we go. Now, I wonder if we do this, will we avoid podsol infestation? Nope. Oh. 
The sunset is very special up here. Check this out. Now. And then. Ah? Ah? Green in Savannah. I want these. Hmm. I've come to the realization that collecting a lot of wood and other resources early game is a bit of a struggle before you have enchanted gear and things like that, but I think we got a pretty good start here and I am eager to get building. I've been standing here for a full day just trying to figure out what I want to do. There's genuinely so much potential with this awesome area. So the idea is, is to keep a lot of the terrain but enhance it and sort of build with the terrain and that area up there looks looks really really cool this place is gonna be a giant parkour land <laughs> i'm picturing some sort of balcony up here this thing we need to get rid of and currently i don't have a big plan in terms of materials to use or even how this is going to look i think i think i'm just gonna start placing down blocks and see where See where the mountain takes me. That's very poetic, isn't it? I'm gonna make sure to use half slab, not just because it's cheaper, but because it's a cool way to get depth. I think I want to bring this all the way, all the way back and cover up the middle. Fancy. And then I think I want to plan to have the storage room inside, inside this side of the cliff here. Oh, it's annoying I broke that block. Yep, yeah, well, I'll have to do. I feel like we definitely need some structure to this balcony. Oak logs sticking out every third. Oh, it actually fits perfectly. Not a bad start, but I am the slowest builder in the world. Next, I want to add some more support to all of this. And then maybe we'll add a little bit of a railing. I'm not usually a fan of fences, so I'm not planning to walk in off a cliff, but I am co-basing with Etho, so I suppose this may be necessary. <laughs> not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. That looks that looks correctly supported. I'm a fan. But it definitely needs details. I'm thinking some lanterns, a few chains, a random barrel, maybe even a cauldron. And then of course some more leaves. And I was really hoping to get this balcony part done today, but again, I'm very slow with these things. It's a sign of wealth. Now that's looking a lot better already. Eventually, it would be really cool to have staircases going all the way around, bringing you up to that balcony. But for now, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of picturing e easy, easy elevator access. There is this very peculiar. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to say that word. There is this very special, special little hill here that almost looks like a little hut, almost a little dirt hut with its chimney. And I think this is going to be where we place the elevator, where you come up to the balcony and then you kind of walk through to get into the storage area. Hopefully this will be a good spot to connect it. Well, it's a little bit wonky, but it's not bad. And elevator go. Yes, nice. And once again, took, uh, Took most of the day. <laughs> now this place up here definitely needs some more decorations. Hello? Hopper block. They are very cool. Hmm. Maybe one further up. Trap doors around here. And a button on the end. We'll, we'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. Yes, that's better. I wonder if we could take this special looking hill and turn it into an actual hillside Hillside little house. I was gonna use most of this wood for chests originally, but hillside house. Hello! I got a little bit carried away. Okay, I came up here to make to make a little bit of a storage room and a nice balcony, but special special hill needed a house, and 
I have spent way too long, way too long on this house, but I gotta say, I'm really happy with it. And unfortunately, it's a little bit tricky to see from all angles, but hopefully I got all of the weird angles as well. I think it looks really cool and very, very natural up there. I mean, obviously it's gonna be natural because it is genuinely, it is genuinely not even a house. It is just a hill with, with some wooden facade around it. Now, as my copper turned, I started thinking, why did I make the roof out of spruce? Maybe it would have looked better in the copper. But I also, I also don't know if I would have enough copper for that. So that may be a later project, something we come back to. The main, the main idea was to build a storage room. And in addition to doing this, I've also started to dig out an area for it. I still don't know how I want this storage room to look or function. But what I do know is that it's going to be a temporary storage room. And by the sounds of things... There may be a giant cave behind here. Oh, wait a minute. No, I've digged through the mountain. Please move. Oh, look at this. I had no idea this was here and there are, there are so many mobs up there. Well, this changes everything. Somehow I would like to incorporate this and make this into the storage room, but ah, I was just gonna say, I'm gonna go and get my armor. I don't want to lose my levels. I'm so close to level 30. Oh, that was scary. That skeleton pushed the creeper off. What an absolute bully. There we go. Well, hello there, sir. Well, this is lit up and by the looks of things, that's the end of the end of today. I got to take care of this creeper though. Ah, perfect. I think I'm going to need a little bit more space even for a starter storage room. So my hopes are that I can sort of help the mountain and bring these things further down by carving in the sides ever so slightly. And with a stone shovel and an unenchanted diamond pickaxe, this is going to take a little bit. Oh, there it goes. Hmm. I'm worth it. Well, my pickaxe is almost dead and Night has fallen once again, but I think this is a pretty good size. I gotta be honest, I'm not entirely sure how I want this storage system to work or look just yet, but I have a little bit of a weird idea. We put the chest back inside the mountain, organically and random, and then I really wanted to make use of the new glow ink item frames, although... I'll be honest, I, I I don't fully know. I don't know how to do this. Do I combine them? Oh, okay, I see. There we go. Oh, they look weird. They look very, very weird. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. My levels. Oh, my. Oh. Hello? Hmm, these blocks are very nice, but not right here. Tomorrow is day 85. Just saying. Today is day 85, and I need clay. Hello? Easy. Hey. Yoink. Today was a good day. Here's a tip. Don't grow moss inside your house, on your floor. Well, turns out our base is extremely dangerous, specifically down there. I just died again as I came back from collecting some oak wood, and now I'm down to four levels. But I'm almost done with the storage room. <laughs> Hello? I seem to have an arrow <laughs> straight in my mouth. Anyway, I'm starting to feel very happy with the starter storage room. It features bamboo, a random tree, more bamboo, azalea bonsai pots, which by the way look absolutely fantastic. And this floor may not look much, but I spent I spent a good day on it because I've I've hidden in places amethyst blocks, which makes an amazing sound 
when you step on them. And I gotta say, I really like this. I think this turned out really, really well. Oh, and also, I haven't yet actually sorted things out. That's gonna be... That's gonna be a task of days. But since we are on day 90, one of the goals I had today was to enchant at least something. And I was very close to the level 30 when I died the first time. These last 10 days have to be very efficient. Because the first thing I have to do is get bookshelves. And one way of doing that would be to get the leather from the cows. But I feel like an adventure. So I'm gonna grab the emeralds that me and Etho have. And I'm gonna go and see if I can find a village outside of the continent and steal their bookshelves because because that that that's that's way more way more efficient <laughs> this ocean is absolutely massive but quite close to our base is an ocean temple i completely plan to build an ocean farm there this season well as the sun sets over the horizon i'm starting to feel a little bit stressed nine days to go oh careful 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 Ah, oh, well, I guess, I guess I'm boatless now. More land. Yes. Village. Yes. Hello there, sir. I see you have saved these up for me. Ah, this is why we're here. Bookshelves. Eight days left. Village. Bookshelves, bookshelves, bookshelves. Wheat. Well, turns out that this village isn't very smart. Not a single bookshelf house. You should all read more. Oh, bookshelves, bookshelves, bookshelves. Hello, village number four. Nothing. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, Etho is going to be happy. Double diamond horse armor. Well, turns out that this was a really bad idea. I still only have 25 books and I got to make it all the way home. Well, four days left and I made it home. And I did get quite a bit of wheat, I guess, and a bit of extra food. Unfortunately, I don't have anywhere near the amount of levels that I need, but that's eight bookshelves. <laughs> Etho, I see you have taken care of bookshelves. <laughs> what? I can't believe that! I can't believe that! After all of that! Hello! hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you can thank me later! Um, yeah. So I'm, about the, I'm just, the I'm just shelves. adding. I'm just adding a little bit here, but just added some extra ones. I, I, I didn't know you were going for bookshelves, and I've been breeding cows for a while here. Um, yes. I, for some reason, I, I got myself to blame. I thought that it would be more efficient to find a village. Didn't realize I would find eight bookshelves in seven villages, to be fair. I uh, I have got present for you as well. Here's the first one. Ooh. Ah, uh, uh, and here's the second one. Oh my, yes. You, you could not have given me a better present. You have no idea. Dude, we can have matching horses. You want a horse? There's three horses downstairs. No. <laughs> Horses suck. <laughs> Let's go ride the horse, Kiskel. It'll change your mind. Oh, it's, he's a he's a jumpy boy. Mm -hmm. a speedy jumpy boy. He's he's got the whole package. Ooh. I've never understood why the horse hearts are little teddy bears. <laughs> is that what they are? Fastest way to get XP is quartz, probably. Uh, I don't know if we want to do that though. Yes, let's go and get some quartz. So I got a fortune three from my enchanting. So I'm pretty happy. Ooh. Just... Nay! Nay! I'm never gonna get to level 30. Hello? Is Gal? I am never gonna get to level 30. <laughs> I just stole your XP too. Will you enchant one item for me with all your fancy levels? I will, yeah. Woohoo! You owe me one compliment per item. <laughs> Have you ever watched another man mine quartz? Is it even more fun than mining it yourself? Uh. Because <laughs> mining it yourself is sure fun. <laughs> Horses! Yay! 
horses. Yeah. Okay. This so horse is really... this horse is better geared than I am, Etho. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of funny in a sad way. <laughs> what what are you going for for your first one? I'm trying to. Well, it depends on what it comes up on as for you, I guess. If we go for the pick, you get efficiency four. I'd say we gamble the pickaxe then. Go for pick, okay. Hope for fortune three. Oh, <laughs> I lost my touch. I'm sorry. No, you made me all ha Okay, well that's fine. I thought it was it's just not efficiency too bad. four. I thought it was it's just efficiency four. We we should do one more. For the I should we be doing the kills. We need. Oh yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I'm like, I'm helping! Even though the quartz hunting was slow, I think it was uh, as fast as it gets. Yep, I agree. Quartz? What happens if you release the axolotl here? Oh, no! Oh, no, he's gonna die! No. He's gonna I die! Can't, I can't even pick him up anymore because oh, the water's he's gone. he's so sad. He's looking for you to help him. Do it. Oh, you got him! I saved him! Oh, I saved wow. him because you still bucket. had water in the bucket. Yep. We're gonna have so many comparators. There we go! I heard it! I heard the click. Yeah, it's thirty. Oh, the boots are depth strider three. That's something. Ooh. Sword is sharpness three. Oh. Okay, I th I think we go for boots. Go for boots. I I love. If depth you strider. go for bow, you get flame. No, that's terrible. <laughs> boots. I don't trust you saying that anymore. Is it just Depth Rider? It's uh, it's not great, but it could be worse. You got it's protection terrible. three, it's... was it? <laughs> what is he doing? This is a pretty funny animation, actually. I like this. Yep. I have one thing to show you. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have been building. There, there's something pretty impressive up there. I saw. Oh, have you have you been up there? I haven't been up. There's a secret. I haven't seen it yet. There's a secret little entrance here. Oh. I've come okay. to the conclusion today that I am the slowest builder in Minecraft because this took me a long time. And also, in the beginning, you don't have that much material. So, even collecting the oak and the spruce was. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, man, this is looking good. Oh, you got the chimney up there, even? Mm hmm. Little hill house. Hill house. The hill, hill house. house of opportunity? Hill House of Opportunity, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yep. I like it, man. It's cool. I have also... I haven't had time to move our items, but I have made us... Ooh. A little storage. Oh, Only I a like starter this. one. Only a starter one. You got the, the glowing uh, item frames and stuff. Oh, and the little azalea plants. I love these. The bonsai pots. They're the best. Uh-huh. Oh, that's really cool. I can just imagine this. Imagine, like, if Minecraft had actual lighting and you could just see, like, rays of the sunlight Ooh, coming through. Yes. Oh, that, you got amethyst under the, uh -huh, the moss. Uh -huh. Oh, I like the details. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Very cool, very cool. So I was thinking, now you can move all the stuff up here. <laughs> Me? I oh, saw your little, I saw your little microphone <laughs> thing disappear. From well, YouTube I gotta get going. Uh, it's been <laughs> fun though, Iskio. I'm, I'm gonna go to sleep now, Ito. Okay, sounds good. Good night. You've earned it. Well, well, well. This has been a journey, and while other people that I have watched get to the full netherite and kill the dragon and do all of those things in their first 100 days, we built a hill house and a storage room, and we did a lot of caving, because this is only just the beginning. I am not stopping <laughs> at 100 days. We have got a long season ahead of us, and I am very, very excited to have started on Hermitcraft Season 8. And I just gotta say, I am so very excited to build things in this biome, and I think we got a really good start. I think we got a really, really good start. This biome is absolutely massive as well, so there's a lot of opportunity for different places. And it's gonna be really interesting to build together with and share things together with with Mr. Etho. So if you did enjoy the episode, please hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next 
episode.